Welcome again to the ACE channel, where we look at some of the ACE products that are on sale from us. Remember, we sell anything from a connector to a radio mast, and all brands from Intel to Zontec. Let's have a look at what we'll be doing today. Hello and good day. We will be having a look at the much-awaited HM685 new series. This one is G GPS and Bluetooth built-in. So this one you can program with the app and you don't need a cable for it. I'll do a later video on that. But for now, let's just have a look at the radio and see what do we have in the box. Supplier left me this to look at so it may not be a brand new radio in the box. Yeah, over, let's see what do we have here. In the box we have the obvious booklet, the radio itself, and some other goodies. I'm going to take it out and we can have a look at it one by one. Um, okay. The new HM685. In this case it has a nice display I like it the move I see even in automotive industry is to have the up and down um, clicks um, this is just a holder for the microphone to protect it we have limited buttons on the side which is just basically power an emergency button and I'm sure we can program these four buttons on the side. I don't know if this is better than an actual button that you had to press in. Even these you have to push down. Now, my worry is if this thing is mounted somewhere where you can bump it, will the button actually break off or will it get damaged on the inside? I don't like that. I prefer knobs like that. Uh, that's just a personal preference of mine. Um, I do like the radio because it's nice, there's enough heat dissipation on the heatsink, so you can use this radio for extended periods of time and it won't get too hot. Okay, this is a VHF model, um, also has GPS and Bluetooth built into it. As you can see, it does the whole band. On the back of it, you will see that we have the uh, GPS connector, uh, which is a typical SMA connector. We have a, I think this is a 25 pin connector, but it is um, like only for Itera type things. Um, I don't think it's easy to buy these off the shelf, although I've seen some places like RS and um, Communica sell connectors like this. Um, yeah, it sits tight. I'm not going to bug too much about it um, to get it on. However, I can see I have it the wrong way around, um, so your accessory connector will be there. I'm going to refer to this as a Kenwood style connector, as I think that was one of the first ones, Kenwood and ICOM, um, to use this. Um, and then a, uh, a BNC, I'm not sure if it's going to be a UHF on a UHF radio, but a BNC definitely on this one. Okay, let us see what we do have um inside the box as well i must say looking at this it's a lot similar to the motorola design where you just unclip it here and you can get to the the radio on the inside with the radio sitting in the heatsink i think that may be the best design not necessarily a a, a patent that they stole from motorola but i do like that okay let's look at the rest of the items um, obviously, as it's a GPS version, magnetic GPS antenna, already fitted connector. I think it's about three meters in length. Um, we have a few insulation goodies, the, the knobs for the um, bracket, um, some screws for the insulation, a spare fuse, um, and then the uh, mic, which is also good. Um, okay, next thing up. We have a, the microphone, and let's just talk about the microphone later on. I'm going to just open it up and put it there, um, get this out of the way. The bracket um, is a typical Motorola style bracket, which I do like, but I also don't like it. 
The fact that I do like it is nice and sturdy. You will not bend this with this flimsy small radio. This is much stronger than a lot of things that I've seen. A lot of holes to mount. I do think, like I've mentioned in the other videos as well, they could have moved that a bit down, but th there is reason for why they've done this. I suppose research has proven that this is the way to go. I do prefer them to have it lower on so you can have the radio closer to the um, uh, uh, to the bottom. Which, in a case like this radio, uh, with the speaker front facing, I do not see why you can't mount it closer to the bottom. So that's just my comment on that. Okay, the power cable is a nice, decent power cable. They don't skimp on the power cable. It's not your cheap Chinese thin little cables. It is very um, well presented. It is, it is a, a molded there, which I do like. I like the fact that it's got this, forgive me for the term, the Motorola style um, fuse holder that is waterproof, which Motorola was one of the first people to come out with. Um, and then, um, yes, they've already soldered the pins for us. I do like this. If, if, if people go the extra mile and they do things like this, I like it. Um, decent length of cable, decent thickness of cable as well. I do like it. Okay, next thing up, let's look at the microphone. Is it the same as the 605, mm, which I do not like. I don't like the microphone on the 605. However, this seems to be a nice, decent microphone. Um, I'm going to zoom out slightly so you can see the length of it. Yes, the length of it is very nice. Okay, go back. It is a, a nice, sturdy hard wearing microphone nice and thick um, something you would want to keep in your in your hand not a small little microphone okay um a typical orange around the 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 side of the pdt no other programmable buttons but also a very nice metal uh, um, belt clip there it is to be it seems the standard sm16a1 i think it looks slightly different to the previous one um but it it, it still shares the same part number Okay, and then obviously with the typical ITR connector that you cannot put in wrong. Okay, uh, so without any further ado, let's quickly do that. Put it in there, turn it on, it is a nice fit. Also, the connector on the bottom, you cannot go wrong, you cannot put it in the wrong way. So often I've seen personally you lie in the back of a, of a vehicle underneath a dashboard trying to put it in and there is a chance that you can actually fit things the wrong way. Okay, so let's give this device some power and see. Okay, what it looks like when it switches on. The interesting thing is that the moment I add power to it, it came on. Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad. Is that a programmable feature or not? As you can see, it is the same as the uh, new PD5 series displays. It is a nice, crisp display. I don't like the fact that it just came on when it got power. Uh, it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. It, there could be a chance that it could drain your battery. Um, I'm just thinking of scenarios where this is not good. But I suppose it is a programmable feature as well. That seems to be the on and off button and not an emergency button. So let's just switch it off. Let's see what it looks like when it switches on. Yes, I like the little light on the side there. As you can see, the green light there coming on, indicating that it's got power. I think that's also a tri-color LED. Yeah. Uh, volume up and down um, obviously channels up and down which I do have my reservation about are these actually very nice knobs or not I just wonder what will happen if you if you step into a um, if you step with your foot on it uh, maybe if it's mounted in a, in a bad position what will happen will these actually break, break off um, but yes, it seems like it is a nice, 
intuitive display i like it a lot um, and yes like i say i like the new series radios i like the look the tricolor led is on the right position um, even if it's mounted there you will be able to see the led so it is it is a very nice fresh design thank you itera for loaning us these radios to do a review i do like it and yeah i think um a thumbs up from me thank you for watching another great review from ascoms please like subscribe and share our videos also feel free to send a comment request for a review or just a shout out stay safe till next time